The year was 1942. World War II was raging around the world. Of all the battles fought, one of the most decisive took place under a cloak of secrecy. Beneath the former football stands at the University of Chicago, a group of scientists feverishly worked on an experiment that would change the course of the war and the world forever. Welcome to The Day Tomorrow Began, the genesis of world-changing ideas at the University of Chicago. In the 1930s, it became increasingly clear to leading scientists, including Einstein, that the energy released from the splitting of atoms could be harnessed to build a powerful weapon. In response, the U.S. government established the Manhattan Project. Eminent scientists gathered at the University of Chicago, where the top secret project was led by Enrico Fermi, one of the many scientists who fled fascist persecution in Europe. Fermi's team was tasked with creating a controlled nuclear chain reaction. The pace was intense. The team worked two 12-hour shifts every day. They milled 45,000 graphite bricks and 22,000 spheres of uranium, arranging them into a complex 20-foot-tall lattice. This was the world's first nuclear reactor. On December 2, 1942, Fermi directed the operators to slowly move the control rods, which allowed the nuclear reaction to proceed. At 3.53 p.m., the clickety-clack of their instruments proved they had achieved the first human-made nuclear chain reaction. A coded message told the government of this success. The first test of an atomic bomb came just two and a half years later. Many of the scientists who worked on the project would petition the U.S. government not to use these weapons on human beings. When they were ignored, they founded the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists. Housed at the University of Chicago, it has kept watch over nuclear threats ever since. The Manhattan Project gave us grief and hope, a new political order, a new form of electricity, and new tools for studying and treating disease. It established a new way to do scientific research, giving rise to large-scale collaborative experiments and the establishment of national labs, such as Argonne National Laboratory, where today scientists are expanding the boundaries of carbon-free sources of energy, such as nuclear, wind, water, solar, and geothermal. This work is but a fraction of the advances made possible by the experiment that took place beneath the former football stadium at the University of Chicago. It ushered in the atomic age and forever changed our world. To learn more about this and other world-changing ideas, visit uchicago.edu slash the day tomorrow began.